The Buffalo Bills are AFC East champions. The first time in 25 years, 1995 was the last time. It's been so long that 29 players on the Bills roster, including practice squad, were not born yet. The last time the Buffalo Bills won the AFC East. We're so happy for Josh Allen. He's fucking awesome. Josh Allen needs four more touchdowns in the last two weeks to break the record for touchdowns uh, by a Bills QB, which this is actually like a real record because Jim Kelly's offenses were revolutionary. They were you know as, I mean? as close to like mid-2000s offenses as the, as it got in the 80s and 90s. Right, exactly. So it's it's not, you know, it's it's not a nothing thing. He has been incredible. Think about this. The Bills are... Kyler Murray's hail hail Mary away from being uh, twelve and two right now. Yeah, no, the Bills fuck and Josh Allen fucks, and this this Bills team could win the Super Bowl. Absolutely, much like those Browns from a couple weeks ago could win the Super Bowl. The t- the team that we've seen from the Bills in the last two weeks, they could beat the Chiefs in the playoffs. Yes, if everything goes correctly, like their defense is good enough, Josh Allen is fucking hard enough. Like the windows that he was putting the ball in were incredible, and he's like he is. One guy, I know we had Mike Leach on the show like a couple years ago, and he was telling us that you can't get more accurate after you're what, like 17, right, right. 18 years old? You just peak accuracy. Josh Allen. I think Josh Allen might be younger than we think he is. Well, it's so like a reverse Dominican baseball player. It's Benjamin Button. Yeah. Right? Is yeah. that how Benjamin Button He ages went? backwards. Yeah. 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 So he's going to get more accurate as this guy. I mean, and then he's going to be a toddler. And then he's going to be a toddler, but hopefully we can get some titles out of it first. But like, when when they put the videos up of Josh Allen going back to Buffalo and the entire team landing, mm-hmm. and the entire city of Buffalo greeted them at the airport, giving awesome. off major, like, dogs greeting military people coming home from their tours awesome. vibes. It was, it was incredible. It was like, awesome. Buffalo was going to be like Woodstock 99 if the Bills do work in the playoffs. And Cuomo said that uh, they could potentially have some fans in the stands for uh the playoff game. wait which fredo said fredo that? said that okay. don't we don't say fredo chromo uh so this is sometimes there is stating the obvious but sometimes stating the obvious is still needed because you got to give credit where credit is due and i think brandon bean who we've had on the show uh sean mcdermott who is a great great head coach but the B- the bills front office like you draft a quarterback There was a lot of people who thought Josh Allen would suck. Josh Allen has been fantastic. But more than that, they have put Josh Allen in a spot to succeed. And I'm talking about the Stephon Diggs trade. That trade changed what the Bills' trajectory is. And it is the rare trade in sports where both teams won because the Vikings got Justin Jefferson out of it. So they have their stud wide receiver in the future. But Stephon Diggs has... Six or more receptions in all but one single game this year. On Sat on Saturday, he had eleven catches for hundred or sorry. This season he has hundred and eleven catches for thirteen hundred yards. Like he has unlocked Josh Allen. And again, it is stating the obvious, but a lot of times franchises don't do these things where they say, Hey, we've invested in this quarterback. We have him on his rookie deal. Let's get some guys around him who can be the perfect complement to what his skill set is, which is a Stefan Diggs and the deep ball catches and being able to run under the ball. And it just needs to be said because a lot of franchises don't do those smart things. The Bills have, and they deserve all the credit in the world because Josh Allen has been phenomenal. Diggs has been phenomenal. Cole Beasley's been phenomenal. That defense has turned itself around. Like the de- the mm-hmm. Bills defense was the issue, and which is weird because last year they were unbelievable. But after the bye week, they've figured it out. They have yeah. figured something out where they 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 play good enough defense that this, like you said, is a Super Bowl contending team. Mm-hmm. And guess what? They went to Denver, which could have been a letdown spot because everyone's talking about them, and they annihilated the Broncos. And it was on a weird Saturday, too, yep. which is another place like a, a relatively short week could also be another letdown spot. And a t-shirt and hat game, which I love that saying. Yeah, that's true. Got to have a t-shirt and hat game. Yeah, so so they come back. They're, they're AFC East champions. And we've seen – I don't know if you've seen the screenshots, but uh, there's some screenshots going around from people that work inside – what's the name of the Buffalo Stadium? Uh, Do they have a name? Did no, it's New Era, but it's not anymore. Blue Jays, Bill Stadium. The Blue Jays right Stadium. Stadium. It, it, we've we've had talks about having it be the Barstool Stadium. Yeah. So there are people that work there that are getting contacted saying, "Hey, uh, would you be willing to like work concessions 
during the playoffs mm-hmm. if we put in like this sort of protocol. And so they're planning on having fans there. Bill's yes. Mafia is going to be there. And Bill's Mafia went fucking nuts on Saturday. Good for them. Like, great job for the Bills fans being able to celebrate hard and go like ham on a Saturday night, knowing that they have a full day of recovery on Sunday. Yes. You guys deserved it because all of Buffalo would have called in sick had you clinched the AFC East and won that game on Sunday. 